Brooklyn Independent Television. Fire it up. Hang on a second. Right now, I have it two days a week, and the other Garrett's in on Wednesdays and Fridays. You know, it's a mix of everybody. Moms bring their kids. Sometimes you'll get the old folks bring, bringing their books in. Not so much teenagers. When they find out no computers and no videos, ah, goodbye. <laughs> I think they appreciate it, especially the guys that the people that are returning books. And I, I and I know the librarians and the clerks that are waiting to find, which is only right. Hey, Sanita, what do you say? Hey, Peter, what's happening? Nothing. She's a librarian here at this branch. This is my twenty-third year over here. I'm here twelve years. Even the big glass door in the lobby, that's broken. So you can imagine. This is the door. Power and strength, you know, of the waves, you know. Okay. He was a little boy. He told me that, you know, two of his books were swimming. And one book, he was able to survive. When we opened the book, it was still wet. And his mother tells me he was so worried that, you know, that, you know, it's a library book and he wanted to come and return it. Oh, when they see the bookmobile, you know, they're all rushing in. You know, most of them lost their library cards and me and Peter have been giving them the library cards. Not much to check out, but they're getting a lot of freebies from here. Also, the other branches have been given what they can. This came in from Decal. Decal Driver. Nice little Carnegie branch. basement we had about five feet of water we lost all our books I had books going back I can't even tell you a hand-me-down books 30-year collection of comic books yeah we lost a lot of really really important books we were a little lost without having anything to read in, in between the time no, this is good because since we don't have anything in the house now it's perfect that we could come here and it's we utilize it so it's good. I used to always go there with my friend and now that it's closed I can't really do that anymore. Well it's more than the library, but at least there's all the books in here. Well most of them. I'm excited now that I at least have some place to hang out and read books. It's pretty cool ever since uh, we most most of our we lost most of our money. I guess we can get some free books we could read to enjoy ourselves while this happens. We came to the bus to see me, huh? Of course. You know what you like again? Even during times of disaster, we think about the library, thinks about all of you. When will the you open it? You don't know. Okay, thanks. All right, take care. Hopefully so. Watch this and other Brooklyn Independent Television episodes online at brickartsmedia.org slash BIT.